What do you think about the fans that were forced to change out of their costumes or lose their front row seats while at WWE Raw? So basically what happened was, it was several uh, people got front row uh, seats on the camera side, the hard camera side, which is when you're looking over the ring for the people who don't know. And they were like, they were basically cosplaying as old wrestlers from like the 90s. Like, you had a, I think you had someone as IRS. Um, you, you had a, a Hogan in there. You know, you probably had, a, I think, a Flair or a Macho Man. There's like seven of them out to have a good time. Uh, so I guess WWE didn't like it or didn't want it for whatever reason. They thought it was distracting and uh, forced them to change out of their uh, costumes and gave them like John Cena t-shirts to wear instead. And it, <laughs> LOL, Cena wins again. That was actually one of the cool things from uh, the wrestling as a wrestling spoiler. I win shirt. That's the oh, Cena yeah. wrestler. <laughs> yeah, that was great. But um, really crappy, um, really crappy. Just because it's not like they were, it's not like they were asking someone to remove their Pat Face CU podcast sign a Survivor Series promoting something else. But it was they're having fun. It's the product. They're obviously huge fans. There had to be a better way of handling that. I'm not sure. Maybe they thought it would be a distraction, but there's always been that one guy who's cosplayed at Hulk Hogan for the past like 20 years at events. You've yeah. seen him. Like, you know what I mean? People know him. He always comes to a certain city or cities that he's at. It's just a really crappy situation. There's not much else to say about it. You know, but whatever. WWE didn't like it. 